So today, I thought I'd show you how I use stuff like this to make videos like this. Good morning and welcome to Petite Airfield. It is a crisp morning here this morning. Winter is definitely on its way. So I thought today's idea would be to make a video about how I make these videos, starting from this big Sony camera here to the GoPros. And then the most asked question is how do I record the cockpit audio to record communications from ATC as well as my own communications inside the cockpit. It'll be a little bit boring if we did it here at the hangar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the aeroplane out now. We're going to fly to a strip that I've been eyeing out for a while but I've never actually landed there before. So that could be quite fun and then we'll go through all the ins and outs of making these videos. I have been eyeing out a little spot just to the north of Petit uh, where we do have permission to land from the landowner. The interesting thing about aviation in South Africa is we are allowed to land basically anywhere as long as we have permission from the landowner. So how that differs from the States, for example, is that in the States, guys are allowed to land on BLM land, which we call government land. Uh, in order for us to land there, we need to get permission for, from the government, which is... Uh, near impossible so that limits our landing spots just a little bit but it's not a problem we find a private field to go and land in and we can still have just as much fun it's just a little bit more admin work that we need to do So the biggest thing about flying here now is I am not focused on the cameras whatsoever. I'll make sure everything is set up correctly before I get into the aeroplane. When I'm in the aeroplane now, I am flying the aeroplane. The nice thing when Travis is here is he can take hold of the big camera. But sure, let's go and have a look. And we'll pull some flaps, slow down a little bit, slip it in so we can see. That looks pretty good to me. Sweet, I think we can take it in for a landing. Yeah, the big thing about uh, landing in areas that you haven't landed in before is keep an eye out for power lines. I do have telephone lines on the approach end there, but there's more than enough room to get in. But otherwise, go around, there is no power lines for quite some time. There are a few but we would out climb those very quickly. Okay, final approach. A few ruts here and there, but otherwise, that was a sweet landing, and we only used a half of the runway. It is quite muddy down here though, my tyres have flicked mud all over the aircraft. But, we are down safely, and I am going to shut down, and we can discuss what I do to film these videos. Alright, so I didn't realise how muddy this field actually is, but look at those tyres. They are covered in mud, and now chucking stuff all of the wing when I literally just cleaned it on Saturday. So I guess we'll start with the most asked for thing when filming all of these videos is how do I record the cockpit audio, how do I get ATC communications, how do I record myself in the aeroplane without a big buzzing noise of the engine in the background. The way that we get around that is that I have my headset and we have what we call a splitter. This splitter I got from one of the local pilot shops but essentially what this is is that I can plug my splitter directly into the intercom in the aircraft. This will record all the communications mine, air traffic control, also my passenger if I've got a passenger on board as well. I will also be able 
to record all the audio onto this device here which is my zoom f1 it's just a standard little field recorder all that comes from the intercom will get recorded onto the zoom f1 so that is how we record the cockpit audio i found that to be the easiest way to do it if you guys have got any other ways that you have done something like this before and it may be a little bit better drop a comment in the comment section below i'd love to read all the different things that people are doing to record their cockpit audio the next thing when recording these videos is getting all the different angles from the actual aircraft so i use three main gopros one which i attach to the left wing one which films me from the front of the cockpit and then another one which films the panel in the back of the cockpit i think the easiest way to explain these is i'm going to pick up the camera now walk around the aircraft and just show you what angles these are filming so the first camera that we use is what we call a gopro max uh, this is a 360 camera let's get on to the next camera which will be the camera that i've got up front which films me this is a stationary fixed camera but let's go go inside the cockpit and we can have a look okay, so this is the camera that i use to film myself i just mount it with a suction mount onto the windscreen essentially this camera just films a stationary picture of me sitting in the cockpit or you, as you can see now me standing next to the cockpit this camera i use for all the cockpit audio i sync the audio with this camera first and then do all the other cameras last so this is the gopro 7 uh, still films in 4k at 25 frames a second the next camera that i do use is the gopro hero 9 and what i've done here is i've put on an nd filter which essentially slows down the shutter speed and makes all the footage look a lot more realistic what I can do here is I literally just pull that off and you'll see that the lens is completely open now. If it gets very bright, uh, the shutter speed has to increase in order to reduce that exposure so we don't blow out all the highlights and things like that. So in order to slow that shutter speed down as we put on an ND filter and essentially what it does is it'll slow down the shutter speed. It's almost like sunglasses for this. Anyway, this camera is used to film my panel. Quite nice for viewers to see so they can see exactly what's going on with all the instruments. They can see what I'm doing, uh, how I'm landing the aircraft in terms of using the stick. Uh, using the rudders all sorts of things like that so a super super nice camera to have and this is my third and final camera position that i usually have sometimes we'll throw other camera positions like a camera underneath the tail what i found over making these last few videos is this is the easiest sort of setup to work with so it would be the cockpit audio which is used for that splitter it would be the gopros which i use like this i mean you could always start with one gopro and continually upgrade and add more GoPros to your arsenal. And then the last thing I have is my Sony camera, which is this one here. And this is what I use to get all the cinematic shots. I can shoot in 4K at 120 frames a second in this camera. This is my setup. This is how I film all of my videos. And I hope you enjoyed it. We are gonna pack up, get out of here before one of the farmers comes and thinks that I've crashed in this field. And we're gonna head back to Petite. I do need to get back to the office now and go to work. If you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, it helped me out a lot if you hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys on the next video.